Hey, fourth grade math. Okay, welcome to page 157, 158. Now these are review pages, which obviously means that you do know all of this information, but I'm just here today to help you make sure that you remember all the information that you that is needed, that you remember how to do it, and there's a few things that we're not going to do. Okay, so look at page 157 first. Look at number one. Now, number one, I want to see that if you remember how to do it without me, okay? Because we've been doing that for a long time now, and you're really becoming experts on fractions, and I'm super proud of you for that. So make sure you do number one by yourself. But number two, we're going to skip, okay? It's a little abstract, a little kind of weird, right? And we don't really need to do it if it's not asking us to do anything else. So number two, we're not doing. <clears throat> okay, number three, I definitely want to Make sure that we're always practicing a few of number three. So I'm gonna do letter A with you. Go ahead and do it, and then we'll check it together, but I'll wait for you. Go ahead and do number three, letter A. Okay, you ready? What common denominator did you get, Keanu? Four, right? Okay, because here's our denominators, four and two. Our biggest one is what, Jayla? Four. Can four be divided by two, Fernanda? Yes, so four is hopefully what Keanu said, right? Is our common denominator, which means we do not change this one because it's already four on the bottom, so it's one on the top. But this one goes two times two is four, so one times two is two. So then what is your answer right here, Holly? Three over four, right? Okay, now I wanted to show you letter E. Letter E in the book, letter E, letter F, letter G in the book is written horizontally, okay? That means this way, horizontal. But we need to write it vertically, going this way, vertical, so that you can solve it correctly. So make sure that you write it like this. I'm gonna be looking for it on your paper, that you wrote it vertically, so I know that you're not guessing, you're not just adding your denominators or anything like that. So go ahead, write it vertically, and then try this one, and we'll do it, we'll check it together. Okay, ready? What's the common denominator that Kiata got? Six, I hope, right? Because we circle these. What's my biggest one, Sama? Six, can you do six divided by two, Jayla? Yes, so six is your common denominator. Here, two times three is six, so one times three is three. And this one doesn't change, so this is one, so it's four over six, but is that your final answer? No, it's not your final answer, right? Okay, so let's see, what do we have to do? We need to divide. Okay, Keanu, what are my factors of four? One and four and two, right? What are my factors of six? One and six and two and three, right? Okay, so let's do it. Four divided by four, oh no, pardon, what's your, what's your greatest common denominator? Greatest common factor then? Two, right, Scarlett? So what is your final answer, Scarlett? Two over three. There you go. Okay, so that's number three. Let's see. Look at number four. Number four, letter A. I'm going to make you do it. Here we go. Let's read it. The state of Massachusetts produces more cranberries than any other state. One recipe calls for two-thirds cup of cranberries. So let's write that down. Two-thirds cups of cranberries. And another calls for three-fourths cup. Oops, that's ugly. Three-fourths cup of cranberries. How many cups of cranberries are needed for both recipes? So what do you think you're going to do? How much is needed for both recipes? Are you gonna add or subtract? Scarlett? I'm not gonna tell you. But whatever you think you have to do, 
Go ahead and do it on number four, letter A. Okay, letter B. Maryland has 35 state parks. Okay, 35. If Donovan has visited five of the parks, what fraction of the parks has he visited? Ooh, okay, there's 35 in all. So what's that going to be, your numerator or denominator, Keanu? 35 is going to be your denominator because it's in total there are 35 parks. But he's visited how many, Sama? Five. Okay, so that's the fraction of how many he's visited. So what's the fraction of how many he has not visited? Good question. Well, think about it. If he's visited five, how many has he not visited? Holly? He visited five, so how many has he not visited? 30, because 35 minus five is 30. So those are your two fractions, but guess what you have to do? Reduce. And I'm gonna let you reduce by yourself, okay? Because you guys are so smart. You're learning so much about fractions, so I'm gonna let you reduce all by yourself. Okay, have fun. Let's see, what else do we look at today? No, you're doing good on the division. I'm seeing that. Look at number six. Number six, letter A. I just want to make sure that you remember how to do these. If the, de if the numerator is bigger than the denominator, we need to change to an improper fraction like it says in the instructions. How? Not dividing like this. No, 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 no. We divide like this. With your remainder as a fraction. Okay? I'm just helping you remember things. I'm not going to be doing it for you this time. Okay, look at number eight. Number eight. It says, circle the fractions that are in lowest terms. That means circle the fractions that cannot be reduced because they are reduced, okay? What fractions do not need to be reduced? There are four of them. Circle four fractions that do not need to be reduced. Okay. On number nine, letter A. Oh, I never know. Should I do the conversion with you or not? Nope, there's only one of them. I'm not going to do it with you. I'm just going to remind you that there are four pecks in a bushel. Four pecks, one bushel. That's all I can tell you. Okay, you got this. I can't wait to see your papers. I bet you're going to have 100% on your math today. I can feel it, okay? So let me know if you need any help, but try very, very hard, okay? Bye.